G'day guys, how you going? Hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself. Well, it's been another lovely day here in Queensland and the sun's been out and shining all around, which is really, really good. But that sunlight seems to have really got inside the Labor government here in Queensland and we've seen some lights shot in there as well. Now, it has been a bit of a bombshell and that is, we've discovered now that the Palachuk has been spending $237 million on World Camp. How's that for a number? Now they've been trying to keep this secret for some time using that commercial in confidence deal which pretty much keeps everything a secret because you know the uh, way business works is that you don't want your opposition or people who are going for a job to know how much you're tendering for uh, so that they can't undercut you before the deal is done but as we all know there was no tender put out and uh, mates deals were done and people got these contracts without any real oversight from anybody other than the Palachuk government and uh, we've seen now that it's a big giant scam. Now I for one uh, am not really surprised that it's cost this much because we've seen this kind of wastage happen in the past but now we do have a facility that is completely and utterly useless and is doing nothing and also is racking up a few hundred thousand dollars a week in costs so it's busy protecting and guarding absolutely nothing except fresh air. So what can we do about this? Well we certainly need to be making sure that we tell as many people as possible and it is good to see that the opposition here in Queensland is actually doing some of their job by exposing this. It has taken quite some time for this to come out. And uh, I guess a lot of hard work went into the background of making sure that these things did happen. Um, and we do see the truth coming out, as I say. But uh, when it comes to $237 million, that's a long, long way away from what... Uh, the Palachuk was telling us how much they were spending before. But the thing is, we don't really know how much is being spent elsewhere. If this kind of wastage is occurring with no oversight until now, you really do have to ask yourself how much wastage is occurring in other places. Now we saw the Palachuk appointing herself to being the Minister for the Olympics, which is a non-job. Uh, you know, there's not much to actually happen there, and I don't think she really knows what she's doing anyway. But remember when she ducked off to the Olympics and uh, made out that she was being dragged there and she was being forced into actually participating in all of the things, but it turned out that that was another big lie. She was basically getting somebody else to take the heat for her, and uh, eh, that's the way it works with her. But she runs around all over the place, not only spending money, but living the high life and taking her boyfriend out for dinner and all sorts of different events where he shouldn't be. But she's basically treating her premiership as though she's been appointed queen. And quite frankly, that's not good enough. And we really do need to make sure that uh, in the next election that she's voted out. But this is the problem, is that people are not paying attention and uh, just listening to things like social media and all the propaganda that's being pumped out from the Labor government. You have to remember the Palachuk does have about 30 people uh, taking care of her social media accounts. The things you do see on social media is probably unlikely that it's her that's, uh, you know, putting all of these messages and things out there, but um, it is other people working very hard. You think about it, 30 people, that's like a classroom full of kids, all working at making sure that the propaganda is being pumped out to, to keep Palachuk in her job and that money flowing. I'm quite sure those people that have got those jobs doing that uh, are very happy about it. And who knows how much these people are being paid. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a few million dollars a year going out the window just in her social media people. But uh, this is the way the chook works. She spends and spends. You know, Queensland is way over $100 billion in debt. And uh, that certainly is climbing when we're seeing expenditure like we are seeing on this well camp. But uh, I really do have to wonder what else is being wasted. We hear all sorts of things that they claim to be doing. But at the end of the day, nothing really seems to be happening. Not a lot of things seem to be moving on. But uh, there is a lot of wastage. Now back to those Olympics deals. Uh, that was hijacked by the Palachuk. And it was a bunch of mayors that were trying to get the Olympics to come to Queensland simply so that they could get some sort of decent rail system up and down, you know, from the Gold Coast and up to Brisbane. And that was really the aim, was to modernise it and make sure that the public transport system was upgraded. And the only way they could really get that to happen was to have a major event like the Olympics. But the old pallet jilt comes in, hijacks the whole lot and pretty much pushes everybody out and uh, takes over and now it's just a big money pit as usual. Huge amounts of money are being spent on it already and it's 10 years away. I think it's highly unlikely that the Palachuk will actually be in government in 10 years time so she really doesn't care what's happening and I don't think she has a plan to be there in that period of time either. It pretty much would be unprecedented. But there you have it, just like a typical watermelon that she is, she has this plan to spend us into oblivion and make sure that she sends us all broke. And I wouldn't be surprised if she's just taken her orders from the World Economic Forum, just like the rest of them.